what going on people welcome back you don't know the boy kamani brown and today we're going to be speaking about once again portable storage for your iphone especially the newest generation of iphones iphone 15 and 16 series enter the magsafe ssd right here i have the newest at the time iphone 16 pro max of course it has that usb type c port and here is no different this is a magsafe ssd now this one is from orico and of course it also has a usb type c port it comes with this usb c to usb c short cable here nice short flexible cable and also comes with this if you have an android phone eh or a case on the iphone that is not magsafe capable they have it covered with this and it's simple no frills simply plug it in like this here's the magsafe ring here you slap it on the back of your phone and you plug it in that's it you see the light there flashing right there letting you know that it is working that it is reading that it is writing that it is powered on and it's a nice neat little package here the cable is very strong you can hang it from pretty much anything <laughs> pretty cool yeah no worries right there the magnet is also super strong as well as you saw for yourself and it's a nice neat little package because once it's set like this you can simply drop it in your pocket or your backpack or your purse or whatever and forget about it of course with it sucking power you don't want that it's going to drain the battery out of your phone with this pretty much being the base standard of filmmaking on mobile phones right now come at me samsung people <laughs> this thing is capable of 4k 120 fps that's the iphone 16 pro max series at least and this thing comes in clutch in filming directly to the ssd itself no matter what kind of rig you have this thing works it's a nice neat package it's also good for backing up your media you may have seen several videos from me and this is a part of the series itself as we go on through the generations as the technology improves i'm going to be checking out the latest in that form factor because we all care about <laughs> keeping our stuff safe and backed up so let's just check it out here let's go into files and there it is right there orico right there showing easy peasy plug in set it and forget it i have a file here the same i've done a couple of videos filmed to it already here's a video here this is gonna slow down but this is actually there you go filmed in 4k 120 fps it is clean look at that video quality people and it even gets slow motion sound with it pretty flipping cool isn't it and here's a normal version as you can see all videos play perfectly perfectly people perfectly i've done several videos here this was for the power bank video here that i did from i knew you may have seen it on my channel already depending on when this video is released slow motion yet again very nice very very nice very clean i mean come on iphone is the king of videography on mobile devices phones that is at the moment and they have not disappointed with the 16 pro max i mean there have been a lot of stuff being thrown out there that this was not a worthy upgrade but if you use your cameras definitely a worthy successor i use this thing especially for slow motion shots and b-roll a lot more than my main cameras here and yeah i highly recommend if you have a 15 pro max or a 16 pro max especially if you are a content creator of any sort whether it's just simple videos for the family or social media for fun or marketing or work or business or whatever get one of these they're less cumbersome they're fairly affordable. I mean, you can check the link in the description below to see how much this actually costs at this point in time or whenever you see this video. And they're pretty simple, no frills, and they do get the job done and get it done well. Now, with it being an SSD, you can actually just simply plug it out and plug it directly into your laptop. And there you go. You got a portable storage device. And there it is right here. 
right there right there showing on my desktop now this is a macbook of course it also works with windows pc there is no restriction where that is concerned you copy off your media and you're done you eject it plug it out plug it back into your phone do whatever you're doing and move on and that's another benefit of these things the form factor they're light they're small they're portable they're cute get the job done slap it back on your phone film when you're done take it off offload your stuff easy peasy easy like one two three and that's the thing saves you time and saves your memories as well so i highly recommend grabbing one of these i'm going to be listing this one amongst with a couple of other options in the description below for you to check out um so far this one has been fairly reliable now speeds as you can see on the screen here that's the speed right there um that really doesn't matter to me all i care about is real world performance this thing does exactly what i need it to do you saw that i was able to not only write to film to as a matter of fact so that i'm not bullshitting you people here plugging this thing in again and i'm going to do a live demo doing several things here on camera live now using the camera control button going straight into the camera here and i just took a quick picture to while i was at it there in the camera control button but let's go to a video here and i'm going to be switching this to 4k 120 fps i'm also going to turn on prores log and automatically as you can see it switches to the usb c device aka the ssd there and i'm just going to film a quick video um yes guys my setup is pretty simple but there it is done it saves it directly to the ssd going back into the files up here here it is with all my other video files that you saw before bam quick video bam yes guys my setup is pretty simple but there it is yes it's washed out of course because it was done in prores of course you'd have to set the whole color grading thing in post processing but you guys can you understand all that already all right i'm going into my gallery here i'm going to select a couple of pictures here bam 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 and i'm going to be sending this is actually the day that i vacation to jamaica for a bit and i'm going to go right down to save the files here it is oh it's actually reading directly to the <laughs> the drive already but I'm going to do it straight from the get-go so here it is orico i could even create a folder here for the hell of it just to show you guys new folder call it pics done right here and i could just press save there they are go back into files go back out here's pics right here and here are the pictures it's just the same for videos there's no difference you guys have seen several videos from me if you're new to the channel i'm going to actually link those in the description below if you have an older iphone i have solutions for iphones with lightning ports as well and this is specifically for the newer generation 15 or 16 pro max i highly recommend getting one of these there are no frills simple get the job done they're just as expensive as if you are getting a high capacity flash drive anyway with a lot less hoops to jump through so i highly recommend this thing not necessarily this brand i'm leaving a plethora of them in the description below this one has been solid for me so far you can check it out if you want especially seeing it here work live on camera i think you would be more sure that this actually works so check it out people and yet again thanks for tuning in you don't know i'll appreciate a like subscribe and of course hitting that little notification bell so i see you guys in the next one peace out and take care